What's up, you guys? Going to quickly go over a transcranial Doppler, which is a part of neurosonography. And it's a ultrasound of the brain, which basically we check the vessels, blood flow, how high the velocities are, and we can see if there's any vasospasms, you know, extremely high velocities, and just interesting stuff on the brain. So we call it the circle of Willis, and this ICA, internal carotid artery, connects from the neck all the way up to the brain and feeds those blood vessels. So that's where we start, and I'm going to show you our protocol that we do in the hospital. Basically, we look at both the left and the right side of the ICAs, and we also look at the right MCA and the left MCA, which is the middle cerebral artery, and the right and left ACAs, which is the anterior cerebral arteries. Then we also look at the basilar and the vertebral arteries. So here is the left side. I can start with either the left or right, doesn't really matter. Left side, left ICA, black and white, color, and Doppler. We Doppler it to see the flow. We look at the Tmax here. And then we're at the left MCA. Here's the left MCA. It's kind of like a swirly, squiggly line. And we Doppler the whole thing going from the top to bottom, kind of surveying the vessel to see which part is the highest velocity that we can find. We take three respective images, so one, two, three, just to see where we can find the highest velocity. But like I said, we're surveying the whole vessel as we are going down, and 124 is the highest on the left MCA. Now red means that the blood flow is going towards the transducer, okay? So red is towards the transducer, B, blue, is away from the transducer. So I use the acronym BART, B, blue, A, away, R, red, T, towards, BART. So here we go, red towards the transducer, it's above the baseline. So the ACA is blue, blue, away from the transducer meaning it's going to be below the baseline. So here's below the baseline, anterior cerebral artery, surveyed the vessel, we got 175 as the highest velocity. So they do connect. So MCA here, and then ACA down here. Now we go to the right side, here's a little plaque over there, right ICA, color, Doppler, right MCA, same thing. Survey the vessel, find the highest velocity, over on this side it's 103, and for the ACA it's 69. Now ACA is very difficult to find on a lot of patients. It's a very very small vessel and it's just really difficult so you know you're not gonna always get great pictures but when you do see it you know when you catch it get it while you can because these patients are really difficult to do. Neurosonography is tough. Okay and then you get to the verts. You can do right vert first, left vert first, it doesn't matter but usually you're gonna see a Y, a Y shape. See that Y shape like this? Because your transducer notch is to the patient's right, so the right indent here, that's the right side, and then the left indent here, right here, of the Y, that's the left side, right and left. So we survey the vessels on the right vert and the left vert. We also survey the vessel going down the basilar, just like we do with the other vessels. We take three of each. You know you can take more, but you know three is pretty good. And that's it. We take the max of the T max, and that gives us our velocities. So, yeah, that's a transcranial Doppler in our hospital. You know, other places can do it differently. There's the PCAs, PCA 1 and 2. There's so much more you can see in the brain, but this is what our protocol is bilateral MCAs, bilateral ACAs, bilateral births, and the basilar. Hope you guys enjoyed.